Everybody good? Hey, I'd like to welcome everyone uh, to the State House to celebrate uh, Spouses Day during the month of the military spouse. Uh, last month we uh, talked about the military child. Today we talk about the rock of our uh, existence in the military, and that is our spouses. Uh, we do what we do because of our families, and our spouses are the center point of that. Uh, we have, we're privileged to have a bunch of uh, honored spouses here today. We've got deployed uh, members of the South Carolina National Guard spouses, uh, mainly the uh, first of the 151, a little bit of our uh, single uh, company. Uh, we've got the family of the year from Fort Jackson. Uh, we've got a Medal of Honor recipient uh, James Livingston and his wife Sarah. Uh, we've got the Coast Guard represented here. Uh, we just have our military spouses from throughout South Carolina. And uh, we have our, our great governor, Governor McMaster, who has been such a strong sponsor of our military here in South Carolina and has done so much uh, for our families and for our spouses. So, Governor. Uh, it's great to be here with you, and uh, thank you so much for your great support. Thank you, General. Thank you very much, and thank all of you for coming, and we appreciate the, <clears throat> the work and the strength of the military spouses, uh, without which we, we couldn't function. And I need to point out that South Carolina has a rich military tradition. We've been here since the beginning in 1670, and our, our military tradition is one thing that has kept our state strong and it makes us different from other states. It's the duty, honor, country, respect, discipline that is imbued in the, the hearts and the customs in our state and people who come from around the world to see South Carolina always comment on how we're, we're different. And that's why so many businesses in, are investing here and why so many people are visiting here. So it is a pleasure for me and an honor on behalf of the approximately 5 million happy, proud South Carolinians to make a proclamation today which reads as follows. State of South Carolina, Governor's Proclamation. Whereas America's military spouses are the backbone of military families and contribute directly to the strength, resilience, and readiness of the United States Armed Forces, and whereas during the challenges of military life, military spouses serve alongside our men and women in uniform through trial and triumph with strength and patriotism. And whereas while our service members are fighting to secure the values we cherish, we see bravery and pride that reflect who we are as a nation through the example set by military spouses. And whereas military spouses should know their community, state, and country support them, are there for them, and are grateful for all they do on our behalf. Now, therefore, I, Henry McMaster, governor of the great state of South Carolina, do hereby proclaim May as Military Spouse Appreciation Month throughout the state and encourage all South Carolinians to honor the courage and sacrifice of our military spouses who so humbly epitomize the American spirit and is signed by me proudly as governor of South Carolina. Congratulations to you all and thank you. Thank you for your thank service. You, Governor, on, on behalf of the military of South Carolina, I want to thank you for this proclamation. We accept it and we will display it appropriately. Uh, one fun fact that I did, have not said, uh, throughout the United States, 11% of the, in the military, you have both, both spouses are members of the military. In South Carolina, in South Carolina National Guard is actually 22%. So uh, that patriotism does run very deep. It does indeed. Thank you so much, thank Governor. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Barbara. Just, I will present this to uh, Barbara and the families. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> 